Christian Bale is open to returning to Batman, Thor Love and Thunder's first reactions are in, and I get to explain what the word sentient means to Ed Harris, so that's quite the feather in the cap. But before we get into everything, if you're new to the channel, welcome, and we're happy to have you. Please tap that subscribe button, and if you've been here before, hit the like button, you wonderful, beautiful person, you. Ah, the best dick news. Hello, I'm Chris Gillian. Welcome back from the weekend. I hope it was amazing and you got a bunch of stuff you needed to get done done. I didn't. At the Thor Love and Thunder Junket, my best friend of me, Brandon Davis, got a chance to talk to Christian Bale himself about his new role as the God Butcher Gore, but he also had a chance to sneak in a Batman question. And I could quote Christian Bale here, but I'll just let you check it out for yourself. Spider-Man actors are coming back. Patrick Stewart played Xavier again. Keaton's doing Batman again. Does it ever, do, now that you're back in a comic book franchise with this experience, does it ever feel tempting to put on the cape and cowl again one more time? Or do they no. even reach out to you? No, 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 nobody, nobody uh, reaches out to me or they keep me like a mushroom, keep me in the dark and feed me shit. But, um, <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, uh, for me, that would be a matter of uh, Chris Nolan. If he ever decided to do it again, and if, uh, and if he chose to come my way again, then yeah, I would consider it because that was always our pact uh, between each other is uh, we would just stick to, we, we said we would only ever make three and then I said to myself, and I don't ever make it with Chris. That's not a no. While we're on the subject, after the premiere of Thor Love and Thunder, early reactions began rolling out, and roughly 99% of them seemed to be overwhelmingly positive, with critics calling it the funniest movie in the MCU and one of Chris Hemsworth's best performances as the God of Thunder. Christian Bale specifically is receiving tons of praise for his villainous turn as Gore, and everyone keeps yammering on about the epic post credit scene, so you should probably go ahead and delete Twitter for at least two weeks. You don't have to tell me twice. In a recent interview with Deadline, Chris Hemsworth was asked if he has any more Thor appearances left in him now that his current contract with Marvel Studios is up, to which Chris replied, I'll do it until someone says get off the stage, I love playing Thor. That's what I like to hear. In wrestling news. Wrestling's not fake! A AEW's crossover pay-per-view with New Japan Forbidden Door was last night, and the biggest news, in my humble opinion, to come out of it is that the former Cesaro, now going back to his original name Claudio Castagnoli, debuted in AEW, and maybe they'll know what to do with him. Anyway, champion of the world! Over the weekend, Top Gun Maverick made an additional $29.6 million, officially hitting the billion dollar mark, but was oh so barely eked out of the top spot by Baz Luhrmann's lush biopic Elvis, which earned $31.1 million. Both well deserved if you ask me. I've seen them both and they are excellent movies. Thank you very much. Last night was the premiere of the fourth season of Westworld on HBO and last week I got a chance to chat with some of the cast and they're all just great and just check out some of this fun conversation we had. Now that Google might have some sentient AI, <laughs> do you guys ever just wake up at night fearful that this might be the show that inspires the real life robots to murder us all? I feel like not. the show is just asking the question not necessarily the inspiration. I feel like it's a space where it's asking what's really going on in the world. It's just right. that I think this has been something that's been going on for a while and we're just kind of seeing it come to fruition. But I think Tessa said something really interesting earlier. We see movies with flying cars in the eighties and we're not there yet. So maybe this isn't necessarily the future. Fingers crossed because this- Can you quickly tell me what your talk guys are talking about in terms of this Google and the AI thing? I don't, I'm not up on it. Basically, it just came out a couple of days ago that um, they, Google had to put an employee on paid leave, I think, because he leaked a, a conversation that he had with some of their, their AI that basically he, he says, suggests that it's sentient and self-aware. And I read the transcript. The transcript's crazy but i don't know that it's sentient but it's 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 pretty impressive if it's not that is what's the word you're using sentient so so like self-aware so it it knows that it's alive essentially okay does it, it in the transcripts because i didn't read the whole transcript so i read a long article though it does it doesn't it say it wants to be free that it longs to be free does it say something like that right mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's pretty interesting maybe, go read up on maybe it that ai just yeah. watches westworld that's probably all it is. It isn't actually <laughs> sentient. It's just, it remembers, you know. And, you know, we probably just deserve this anyway. So, you know, <laughs> it's coming. I can't explain to you the stress of having to define the word sentient in front of legends like Tessa Thompson and Ed Harris, but 
I made it through it. Damn you for forcing me into this position. And that's that for Monday. Hope everyone out there has a great week. I may or may not be talking to Taryn Edgerton tomorrow, so leave a comment if you've got a question for him, and make sure you turn on notifications because I've got another surprise guest for tomorrow's show. All of the stories in this video came from articles written on comicbook.com, so if you'd like to read more about some of today's news with your very own eyeballs, feel free to head over to comicbook.com where we work 24-7 to keep you all up to speed on the latest news. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and more, all of which are linked below. If you're someone who likes listening to other people argue for hours on end about this sort of stuff, we've got you covered there as well with Comic Book Nation, hosted by Kofi Outlaw every Friday, or our Marvel-focused podcast hosted by my best friend of me, Brandon Davis, on Wednesdays. If you want some behind-the-scenes antics or previews of my cosplay, or you want to know what it's like to live on a spaceship for months at a time with no genuine human interaction, find me on Instagram, at CK Comedy, or Twitter, at Chris Killian, all linked below. Once again, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and give yourself a pat on the back for making it this far into the video. It's great. I can't believe you made it. See you tomorrow.